Hello and welcome to Crypto TV. I'm Lisa Amnigar, bringing you the latest news in crypto, AI, blockchain, and Web3. While global markets, including digital tokens, got rocked by AI jitters earlier this week, digital assets are now recovering but raising fresh questions on the outlook for crypto in 2025. If we just take a fast look at Bitcoin over the past five days, Bitcoin saw a high on Saturday, just shy under $105,000 per Bitcoin, but plunged to $97,000 on Monday. This was a result of a massive sell-off triggered by DeepSeek, a Chinese artificial intelligence lab and the launch of their new AI model, which leave many wondering, what does this have to do with crypto? Well, the truth is Bitcoin hasn't yet proven itself as a true store of value. Instead, it acts more like a higher risk tech stock, which is why it's tracking the Nasdaq so closely. In fact, their correlation has tightened since late December. And AI and blockchain tech are becoming closer than ever before. That means when an AI tech stock are in crisis, the spillover effect reaches the cryptocurrency market as well. As of today, Bitcoin saw its biggest jump in more than a week following the U.S. Federal Reserve's latest monetary policy meeting, where comments from Chair Jerome Powell signaled more confidence around the crypto regulations. But before we move on, it's worth looking at what DeepSeek's advancements in artificial intelligence mean for the AI industry going forward. The Chinese AI lab, which rose out of the hedge fund High Fire, has proven to the world that you don't need billions of dollars to create a powerful AI model, such as the ones from established brands OpenAI, Google, and Anthropic. DeepSeek's launch of their new open source model R1 was built in just two months and under $6 million. But more than that, they did it without using the most advanced semiconductors by NVIDIA known as the A100 GPUs, which was previously thought crucial to build advanced AI models. Instead, DeepSeek showed that you can achieve the same performance results in artificial intelligence using a method called distillation. What distillation does is that it builds on existing frontier of AI. It basically takes a large model to help a smaller model get smart on the things you want it to do. Followed by some tweaks and data sets, it can then iterate what reasoning models and advanced LLMs have done, but for a fraction of the cost. We can see that DeepSeek is using existing models so much that it's even run into an identity crisis. It is convinced that it's ChatGPT. When asking DeepSeek what model it was, DeepSeek responded, I'm ChatGPT, a language model developed by OpenAI. My underlying architecture is based on GPT-4. So you might wonder, what does this mean for the industry going forward? Well, because it's built on an open source model, it really changes the game. DeepSeek's latest R1 model under the MIT license means anyone, developers, startups, or even corporations can use, modify, and deploy the technology for their own use. This democratizes access to cutting edge AI, showing that it's moving more towards a for-profit business model. This opens up the floodgates for other markets such as the UAE and Southeast Asia, regions that have a high AI adoption and investing billions of dollars into these sectors. So in other news, Crypto.com is set to delist Tether, USDT and nine other tokens across Europe starting tomorrow on January 31st to comply with EU's Mika regulation. Users have until March 31st to convert their holdings before the trading halts. Meanwhile, in the US, Elon Musk is reportedly in talks to use blockchain technology at the newly created Department of Government Efficiency, signaling another step in the Trump administration's push to support digital assets. Sources say Musk aims to deploy a public blockchain for transparency in government spending, with Doge particularly interested in this technology for payments, data handling, and to manage government-owned buildings. If approved, it could be the largest US government blockchain project to date. And finally, the crypto coin we have our eyes on this week is the newly launched Satoshi coin powered by the Solana blockchain. While we see many memes and tokens launched, there is a shift in the market where traders are looking for coins and platforms that show real utility, strong technology, and a vision for integration in the real world. Shatoshi is one of the most prominent examples of this new standard. It combines AI with a Web3 browser and a search engine, kind of like the Google of Web3, making it attractive for users to access real-time crypto insights, finding dApps, and navigating blockchain networks. Definitely one to check out. That's all we had for you today. My name is Lisa Amrigard and you're watching Crypto TV.
web3.tv.